named St. Martin's by my father in 1928. Why? Because he said there weren't a lot of St. Martin's. And so he wanted to stand out. There's no theological reason, he just wanted to stand out. And it's apropos because there's so many of us who want to stand out. The job of this parish has been to allow people to rise up and to be able to hear their voice. And we've had our ups and downs, and many of us that have lived here a long time have been able to thrive with our art life. And now we have this new influx of people that are going to bring another kind of art life. And so we just want to make sure, I know I want to be a part of it, I want, to be, I want you to be a part of it, and I want all the creative spirits that exist and appreciate where we are, who we are, and what this great place has to offer. We travel far and wide. We go to places like Paris, Istanbul, Florence. And then we go home and then we rave about the living galleries we just discovered. Today I stand here to declare Harlem the living gallery. We started exploring this idea of Harlem. The first people I went to to think about this are, were the old timers, people sitting on the stoops. So when you ask them, what is Harlem? They basically say from the north of Central Park to, to the end of the island. So, so to them, Harlem is the state of mind that starts at the end of Central Park. Taking in the, the beautiful artwork, it's yeah. phenomenal, yeah. unexpected. And so if you look around the church, there are mosaics, there are reproductions of wonderful art pieces. There's a theater uh, upstairs that seats 250 people, where Nina Simone sang and various people. Um, so we've always been a church that has honored the, the flowering of the spirit. So when the Harlem Biennale came about and they said, gee, we want to tell the story of Harlem and we want people's artistic endeavors to be able to rise up, it was a natural fit for St. Martin's. I could just zoom forward a year and see it happening. So you really feel the energy. It's palpable. It's great. It's here. 